Hello, welcome back to Writer's World Radio, episode 13. As always, I'm the Honorable Matthew Graken, and your host. So, this week got me thinking. It's Read Across America Week in the United States. Kids in schools everywhere are, are discussing being encouraged to read even more than usual, to, to get into their books even more by, by dressing into care as characters from their favorite books, but primarily this came about from one man, one writer, someone who probably was one of our first books that we ever read personally, and that was Dr. Seuss. So today's topic is going to be Dr. Seuss. Most of us know him by the name of Seuss, but does everyone know, probably not, some of you probably do, that his real name was actually Theodore, Theodore Geisel. He was born March 2nd, 1904. So as of this year, that this marks the 112th anniversary of his birth. He grew up in a little town, Springfield, Massachusetts. From there, he went into high school. You know, growing up, he, he, uh, he went to school. And in high school is where things started to come together for him. His freshman year, he actually started taking art classes. And this became one of his, his influences. Uh, I mean, we, he's got a very unique style of, of drawing. But that actually became one of his more main focuses. Uh, from there, he went on to high school. He went to Dartmouth College, and he was encouraged to by his teachers to start writing. And he actually started. He was he worked his ranks up as uh, the, becoming the editor in chief of one of their humorous uh, publications there. So this became the the corners. They, they want to say the building block for his writing. He became a journalist. Well, it was more of a, it was a humorous paper, so it wasn't, you know, he, he started writing those funny stories and quips. But, now here's the funny part. He got suspended from it. He got caught drinking on campus. This is during Prohibition ages. So, he was told by the dean of the school, you can no longer do extracurricular activities. Why do you think this is important? Why are you telling me about this, Matthew? Because at this point, he's one professor. His professor tells him, don't give up on the writing. So what does Thomas do? He creates a pen name. <laughs> and you could all guess what that pen name is. He took, takes his, his mother's maiden name and becomes Seuss. He starts signing everything Seuss. And his professor rhetoric keeps encouraging him. And he graduates from there, graduates from Dartmouth, and decides, I want to learn more about English. I want to become an English teacher. So where does he go? Oxford. Where else are you going to go to learn English? He goes to Ar Oxford to earn a PhD. And he keeps drawing, he keeps writing. He gets married and his wife encourages him, Tom, keep drawing. He goes on, he becomes, he gets into Vanity Fair. He does some drawings for Vanity Fair, he does political cartoons for a New York newspaper, uh, political paper, he even does stuff for Life magazine. During the war, during the World War II, he actually even drew stuff for the army. It wasn't until 1937, 1937, that he wrote his first book, his first story his poem on the on a transatlantic uh, ship going back from England to to uh, the States he's sitting there and the rhythm of the the rhythm of the engines inspires him to write his first poem the things I saw on Mulberry Street or it's or correctly um, the think I saw it on Mulberry Street that was his first one and it all came out from there. Uh, you know, he's, he's published over 6 million copies of his books, over 20 languages, and this was all before he passed away. So, Dr. Seuss, you know, like I said, my first one that I read, first book, Green Eggs and Ham. 
you know, for many of us, you know, what was your first book? Put it in the comments below or use the hashtag Writers World Radio on, on the, you know, social networks. What was your first book that you read? Was it a Dr. Seuss book? If so, which one? What is your favorite Dr. Seuss story? Uh, you know, is it Horton Hears a, he a Who? Or is it the Lorax? You know, he got very political with some of these ones. Uh, you know, talking about the environment and, you know, big corporations ruining things. So, you know, if you peel the layers of the onion away, it wasn't just kid stories. You know, it was life lessons that he was trying to teach and put in there and still went to his young readers. You know, also just think about, these are children's stories. Look how long some of these books are versus some of the more modern or some of the newer children books that are being written. You know, two, three times their size. You know, it goes to, it goes to speak something about, you know, the, where are, we're going as a society and all this technology and stuff. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I'm not against technology. So, please, hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Matthew J. Graken, or on the Twitter, at Matthew J. Graken. Use the hashtag Writers World Radio. Again, what is your favorite Dr. Seuss or and or what was your first one that you read? What is some of your, you know, favorite children books of past? Put them below. Is your family participating in read, you know, read across America? You know, what are some of the fun things that your schools are doing out there? You know, my daughter's school, she's, you know, dressing up as a favorite character. Uh, silly sock day, backwards dress day, uh, pajama day. Uh, having parents come in, read to the class. That's just some of the stuff that they're doing. So I'd like to figure, yeah, hear what's going on. What, how are the schools celebrating this? Is your school even participating? So th I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found out some things about one of our founding writers, uh, one of our, our big writer, influential writers, Dr. Seuss. And uh, if you have some tidbits, put it below. Let's you know keep this discussion going. And you know what? I'll see you next time. <laughs>